43% of people, this is down from 48% last year, who sell with a real estate agent believe that if they do it themselves, they will make do a little extra work in exchange for not paying commissions and not paying closing fees. What's up guys, I'm Kobe Smith and in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why this is false. Let's get into it. What's up everyone, I'm Kobe Smith and this is C. Smith Investings where I talk about real estate, investing, entrepreneurism, living free, and generational wealth. And in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the values of realtor, the value of having a realtor, the value of having a real estate agent, and why you should use a realtor or a real estate agent. Today I have a special guest. I'll introduce her a little later, but if you guys are interested in this video, make sure you keep watching, make sure you smash that like button and let's get into it. Did you know that there was a difference between a realtor and a real estate agent? Yeah, there actually is, I know, it's crazy. A real estate agent is a licensed professional who help people buy, sell, and rent, lease real estate. A realtor is actually a real estate agent with additional licenses and licensure. The term realtor is aligned with competency, fairness, and high integrity. This is because realtors are held to a higher moral conduct. Realtors are held to a higher code of ethics and standard of conduct. They focus on duties to clients and customers, duties to the public, and duties to other realtors. What's up everyone? So I am here with Margaret Grew today, a realtor in Virginia. And yeah, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Margaret Grew. I'm a realtor in Virginia. Mm -hmm. I'm with Cobalt Banker in downtown Leesburg. But today, I'm in Maryland with Kobe. Visiting my office and for the YouTube video and everything. And we also started a podcast. Make sure you check that out. We haven't figured out a name yet, but I'll be posting about it. So check it out. So why do you think realtors get a bad rap? So I think realtors get a bad rep because the way that we are portrayed on TV shows mostly, like specifically selling sunsets, I feel like on the show i mean it's mostly drama but then any real estate that happens it's just like oh i just sold a 30 million dollar home now i get all this money and it shows like how much Without the commission doing is too. yeah they like, have like one open house like do a couple showings and they don't show like the behind the scenes and what actually happens yeah like there's no behind the scene mm -hmm. going on so it just seems like super easy and honestly like even coming into real estate like i kind of thought it, like i didn't think it was going to be super easy but i thought it was going to be a lot easier than it is you show home once somebody buys it oh that's a million dollars right there yeah like, i do an open house and the house is sold like that that's not how it is that's not how it is. exactly yeah million dollar listens also does this and um selling tampa that's a very good one but they also <laughs> <do this. laughs> i love all the shows but i just they just don't represent real estate well. Yeah. Um, and also, like, the money that they show, like, mm -hmm. the commission, that's not even, like, with, like, taxes mm -hmm. taken out or, like, cuts or anything. So it just seems so much more flashy we than were, it is. We were just talking about that. I literally texted you that a few days ago, and you just stole my... You stole what I said. You stole I don't remember thing. you talking about that. Okay. Okay, I also think that bad realtors also help give like the bad representation for real estate agents because somebody sees a realtor and uses a realtor once and they get a bad agent then they gonna think all the other realtors are like that so make sure you test out the market make sure you check out see what else is out there see how figure out which real estate agent works best for you and see what each realtor can offer themselves and also don't just rely on the tv shows that that's what the business is because that's not what it is so what are signs of a bad agent <laughs> So some signs of a bad agent would be bad communication. I'd say that's a big one. Like, obviously people have things going on in their lives mm. other than real estate. But if someone just always takes, like if your realtor always takes a while to get back to you or just doesn't, isn't very clear mm. on the communication part, then that's a big red flag because you need someone that's just very clear and on it. I'd also say if they show up late a lot, that's not a good sign mm -hmm. but i also just love being places early in general but i don't know i think it kind of should show some like responsibility 
exactly. I'd also, I'd say, not able to negotiate. And you could tell this when you're actually, like prior to signing the agreement, figure out seeing how the realtor works with you in negotiating the commission split and all that stuff. You can figure out that all that. Um, then I'd also say lacking on marketing skills. Cause if you're selling your home, you want your realtor to be the greatest marketer. You want them to be able to sell your home and get your home in front of as many people as possible. So marketing skills is key to a realtor and not having those skills might mess up your clients or you your deal so yeah yeah and also um if they're being like pushy with not really working around your schedule like if they're more like everything has to be on my time then that's not a good sign mm -hmm. obviously but especially like for new agents that are starting up like it's kind of like you want to work with the client's schedule exactly and so if they're just being like everything has to be on their schedule then that's another reply mm -hmm. and like i mentioned earlier the difference between a realtor and a real estate agent using a realtor is a lot more valuable to you as a client than using a real estate agent because those 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 reasons that i mentioned before so make sure that your realtor is ethical and make sure your real estate agent if you're using a real estate agent not a realtor make sure that they're ethical because that can end up biting you in the butt in the long run okay so what makes the realtor so viable? Why is real estate necessary in a transaction instead of doing it yourself? So transactions, they are very time consuming. There's a lot of paperwork and just tedious work that goes into it that a lot of people don't, might not understand until they're in that transaction. And so like if you're working a full-time job, you don't wanna have to worry about getting all of this done and getting it done properly. Mm -hmm. So if you have a professional representing you, that's their life, that's their job. So they're going to be the ones that are doing all that and fulfilling everything to the best of their capabilities. And so I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. I'd also say lack of um, the paperwork needed and the contract needed. Realtors are able to have, have access to all the contracts that you are necessary for the transaction and also can create, can find the people that can create the contracts needed for your specific needs in the transaction, which you might not be able to do because you have that full-time job or you, cause you have, you just don't know what to do or what contracts you need to use or what's necessary for the transaction. I'd also say pricing is key. Mm -hmm. and the whole thing for buyers and sellers picking the right price to list your property at and picking the right price to go in with their offer at and realtors have access to um, a lot more listings than um regular a regular buyer or seller will be able to have so they're able to find those comps those necessary comps and information needed for to figure out what price is best for you yeah and i feel like there's um there's some videos going around where people are saying you don't need a real estate agent like you can do it on your own mm -hmm. and I do somewhat agree like some people they definitely can do it on their own but they're probably people that have some kind of association with real estate already or have had their experience like real experience yeah or... but like if you're just going into it blindly then you're just screwing yourself over mm -hmm. okay so how does a realtor save you money instead of the money that you might have not saved not using a realtor so I think there's multiple ways in this case. I'd say one is that realtors, like we know the market, we know what a good pricing is, we know what good offers are. And so like, again, if you're doing this alone and this is your first time, then you're kind of going into it blindly. So it's more like, it's easier for you to get manipulated in certain situations that you might not even be aware of, like getting a really, crappy offer that you think is amazing but your realtor is able to recognize that that's a crappy offer and that you can get a lot more money and yeah what would mm -hmm. you say i'd also say that we know the market and that we were we are able to find deals so if you're looking for a deal or you're looking for a home that's not as expensive as it should be or a little bit below market value we're able to find those because we have all those we have the extensive resources like the mls and all the sites that we have and are able to find comps and we have moxie and all this stuff that are able to help with that but we're able to find those deals out there so that you 
are able to save a little bit of money and so that instead of you just going through Zillow and all that stuff because Zillow doesn't have all the all the properties that are listed they don't have all, of your, all the information out there that's necessary for you to find what you need okay so do people usually save money when they're using realtor from they're trying to sell their home yes so for sale by owners usually sell less than homes sold by real estate agents that is true and i also saw this thing on the national from the national realtors association that the median sales price of a fisbo is around um 217,000 and uh, the median sales price for an agent home is 242,000. So you're make that's a big gap there between a FISBO or a facility by owner and a realtor. Yeah, and I'd say too like a lot of people that make videos saying you can sell your own home like you should do for sale by owner like yeah, you could do it but in like, the long run you're not going to like it's just not going to go exactly it takes well. time it might not it won't sell for as much and uh, th the longer you sell in the market the less likely you're able to you're the least likely you are to sell your home and the harder it is to sell your home and usually when you're doing it yourself it takes longer because you don't have the marketing experience or you don't have the resources needed to get those people in that first weekend because first you have one weekend to sell your home basically the second weekend you're gonna have less showings you're gonna have less people out and interested and that third weekend is probably the last weekend that you're gonna have to actually get that top price and to get the peak amount of showings unless you lower the price or unless you do something drastic to change that outcome so that was my interview with market i hope we were able to answer a lot of questions that you guys had a lot of comments or thoughts that you guys were having if you have any more comments thoughts questions or anything let me know in the comment section we'll be happy to get back to you and answer and try to figure things out and get the answer to you Thank you again, Margaret, for coming on and talking and letting our viewers, letting the viewers hear a little bit about you and about your thoughts about the real estate industry and the value behind a realtor. And yeah, make sure you guys like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe and make sure you go check out some of my other videos I'll be posting again. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on that, hit that notification bell so that you know when I post again, because I'm always posting content like this, interesting content like this, you already know. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. See you next time.